In the Tribe Leads plugin, there's a feature called Content Log, which is a great way to build your mailing list faster. I will be giving you a quick overview of this feature, so let's jump right into the tutorial and access Tribe Leads from the Tribe dashboard. And now here in the Lead Shortcode section, go ahead with adding a new shortcode from here. And now once it's added, you can see here this switch or this toggle, which basically allows you to enable the Content Locking feature. So by default you have here the regular shortcode, but when you activate this, this shortcode itself will change and the functionality will change as well. So with my content log active, I can go ahead and click on edit and here I can create my form. Now let's jump right into the edit mode and choose from this variety of templates. Now right at the beginning of the list, you will see the two-step type of opt-in forms. But for this example, I'm gonna scroll down until I find just the regular one-step opt-in form. Let's say this one from here. Now, of course, this is fully customizable. You can still change the overall aspect of the existing template, just like you would do with any other form. So you can, for example, add a message here, letting the users know that they need to sign up through this form in order to unlock the locked content. And now here, let's just type in a different text. And what I also want to do here is make sure that I replace this image with an icon, for example. And let's pick a lock icon, just to also visually convey this message that the content itself is locked. Now, of course, as usual, the way to set this up is also by connecting this lead generation form to an autoresponder, so the autoresponder of your choice. We have separate resources available in our knowledge base that explain in depth how all this setup works. So make sure to check those articles as well. But keep in mind that this feature requires an API connection. So of course, this is something that you need to configure before proceeding with using this Thrivelit shortcode. Now I've connected my form through one of our test accounts and once done, I can save my work and I'm going to use this shortcode right away in an example. So back here, you can copy the shortcode directly from this view, but you can also go back to the main Tribe Leads dashboard and you can also find it listed right here. So this is the page on which I will be using the shortcode and the piece of content that I want to have hidden is represented by this background sections from here. So this part together with these two parts will be hidden and only be visible for the users that sign up. Now what I'm going to do next is add two text elements right at the top of my premium content and then another one at the bottom of the premium content. And now going back up, I'm going to paste here the shortcode that I've just copied. Now from this shortcode, you will need the first part and then the last part. So the part that's located at the beginning and at the end. This hidden content part is just for your information to know that the hidden content will be in between these two shortcodes from here. So let's just delete this one and cut this end part. And with my selection copied, I'm going to go ahead and paste that last bit of the shortcode right here in my second text element at the end of the premium content. And whatever is in between these two pieces of shortcode will be hidden. And as you can see, I have here content boxes. I also have images. So this feature works with all kinds of elements. Now let's save the changes and preview the page to see how this looks like. So what we have here is just the first paragraph and then we have the premium content that it's locked and then everything that comes after the locked content. Now there's another option here for hiding the content and for that let's go back to the Thrive Leads dashboard, click once more on edit and here under the lock mode click on hide. So the hide option is selected by default but you can also blur the content if you want. Now keep in mind that this option might not work with some browsers so in case you're using this option but your browser does not support it the content will still be locked, but just in the default way with the form itself. Now let's save the changes and reload the same page. So now you can see that this form that I've customized is covering once more the premium content, but there's a hint here at what the content is about. So this part right here is blurred, letting the user know that underneath this form, there's a piece of content that needs to be unlocked. Now let's see what happens if we decide to unlock it. I'm going to enter here a test email and hit the subscribe button. Now, as soon as I did that, the premium content was unlocked. Now the system sees me as a registered user and the content is available for me to read. 
if the page gets visited again by the same visitor, the content will still be unlocked. So the opt-in will not be shown again to the visitors, meaning that they don't have to unlock the content every single time. As long as they are registered users, they only have to unlock it once. So as you can see, this is a really easy way in which you can use your content and this functionality together to collect more email leads. I really hope you found this tutorial useful. As always, make sure to check out other videos of this type if you want to find out more about our products.